Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be setting up quite possibly the best windows emulator for android devices ever created and yep i'm talking about the official version of winlater frost which has gotten the latest glipsy version 7.1.3 update along with lot of new features bug fixes and much more so before getting started if you guys are new here then be sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification as i keep you guys up to date with the latest windows emulator updates and here's our today's google play store gift card redeem code giveaway which I am doing daily on my channel. So once again, if you want to participate in this giveaway, then simply be the first one to watch my videos. For that, subscribe and turn on all notification. With that being said, let's get started. So here are the minimum requirements for the latest version of WinLater Frost that we'll be using: Adreno 6 and 7 series GPU. Mali GPU Android devices are also supported in this. So Virgil driver has been provided. Universal all GPU support. So minimum you need at least Android version 10 or above, along with a Snapdragon processor for best experience i would say snapdragon 690 or above anyways if we just go and scroll down you guys will be able to see the latest win later frost glipsy 7.1.3 virgil version 2 has been released and this is for mali gpu android devices but if we scroll down the developer has also released a specific win later frost glipsy version 2 for snapdragon processor android devices as my device has a snapdragon processor we'll be going with the snapdragon version but if you guys want me to test out the win later frost glipsy mali gpu version then let's hit 200 likes on this video and i'll test it out on my redmi k50 now unfortunately guys before you try out the winlater frost glipsy version you will need to uninstall the original version of winlater glipsy that you have added and i think it's perfectly worth it because the features that have been provided in winlater frost glipsy version 2 are completely worth it it has direct gamepad support it has new turnip drivers new dxvk drivers and lot more and honestly i am really excited for the mali gpu android test as well because i am curious how well will winlater frost work on a low-end android device anyways when you open it for the first time as usual it will start adding its assets so you just need to be patient until this process has been completed afterwards tap on the next button and make sure to enable this option once that has been done now we'll start setting up the winlater frost for that we'll go to settings and here you'll be able to see the box 64 version now there are various box 64 versions that have been provided i recommend you guys to go with either 0.3.0 or 0.3.1 version 2 so there is also another box 64 version which is specifically for 8 gen 2 processors so snapdragon 8 gen 2 devices you'll need to use this box 64 version and once that has been done you can enable touchscreen mode as well but it's not really that accurate so we will skip that we also have right stick gyroscope option once again it's not that accurate you can configure gyroscope but this option is is not really needed much once that has been done we'll make sure to set the preset as performance by duplicating it and editing it setting the safe flags level to zero and yeah that's about it afterwards we'll simply tap on the tick mark option and yeah guys now we have finished setting up the main settings of win later frost glipsy version once that has been done now we'll create a new container where screen size you get a lot of options such as 16 is to 10 aspect ratio uh, all the way up to 1080p graphics by the way you don't get anything above that and in my opinion you should go with 1280 by 720p or 960 by 544p i'll go with 960 by 544 once that has been done, you only get one Wine version which is Wine 9.2 custom, not bad at all. But if you go to graphics driver, if you are using a Mali GPU Android device, you can go with Virgil. But for Snapdragon, make sure to choose the latest graphics driver which is the 24.3.0.5 which means revision 5 of 24.3.0 graphics driver. Yep, it is a bit confusing but simply use the latest version of graphics driver. Afterwards, we'll tap on OK and in terms of DX wrapper, make sure to use the 2.3.1 or 2.4 GPL async version. I'll go with 2.3.1 for today's video. And uh, audio driver pulse audio show FPS has been enabled and video memory size will set it to 4 GB. Once that has been done, you'll notice that DXVK HUD has also been added here along with Wine Async which is present so you'll get the best possible performance once that has been done in terms of advanced settings box 64 preset will set it to performance 1 which we just created uh, startup selection is aggressive and x input for games in Wine has been turned on so yeah you can use your gamepad to control games inside of the winlater frost glipsy once that has been done we'll create our brand new container and start testing out some games in this brand new version now unfortunately guys as you know i really use my tablet for these kind of videos and actually my tablet has lot of pc games whereas on my iq which is the device that i'm using snapdragon 8 gen 3 and 16 gb of ram doesn't really have a lot of main windows games on it but don't worry we'll be testing out a popular title anyways 
and if we go here then yeah there are no new settings in this section now if you tap on the start option you will be able to notice we get input bridge option so you can directly launch input bridge on screen touch controls as well we get fixes such as dxvk frame limit you can remove the 60 fps frame limit Y9.2 patch is also provided along with X input patches so you can connect your controller properly. In this section you will be able to see VKD3D can be added, Wine D3D can also be added along with renderer. You can select it as Virgil or Zinc but you don't really need to customize all of this if you want to try out some basic games like let's say GTA 5. Anyways make sure to go to Wine configuration and your Windows version should be set to Windows 10. By default it is set as Windows 11. For best compatibility go with Windows 10. Once that has been done, let's start testing out our games right away. Now the only great game that I have on my device right now is Pal World. I also have Assassin's Creed Unity but it doesn't work in my case for some reason. I think the game version is not supported for Windows Emulator. So in today's video we'll test out Pal World but don't worry tomorrow we'll test out Grand Theft Auto 5. Day after tomorrow GTA 4. After that we'll also test out Amazing Spider-Man Remastered. Yep, Win Later Frost also supports that game. If I get time, I'll upload that video tomorrow testing out Marvel's Amazing Spider-Man Remastered on Android. So be sure to subscribe, turn on all notifications. And here we go guys, our game has successfully started. I'll simply swipe back, afterwards go to input controls. And this is the main reason why I really like Win Later Frost version. That's because the amount of input controls that have been provided are pretty useful. Virtual Gamepad plus Keyboard General. Uh, on screen touch controls, virtual gamepad, dead space, etc. But we'll go with the general on screen touch controls. And let's see how well will Pal World run inside of this emulator. So here we go, guys. The game has successfully started. And in Horizon Emulator, I remember clearly I was getting around 15 to 16 FPS. But it is using an N22 build. So your device will get overheated. It will start crashing system as well. Whereas in Win Later Frost, it doesn't utilize the full potential of your Android devices. But still it provides you a better gameplay experience. Now when I tried out this game in emulators like the normal Win Later or Mobox Simulator, I used to get around 4 to 5 FPS. Whereas in Win Later Frost, we are getting around 8 to 10 FPS, which is definitely 100% better FPS than what we were getting previously. And in open world areas, you will notice the FPS stutter quite a lot. Pile world is a very heavy game to play or emulate because it is a 2024 game but don't worry guys as i mentioned before we'll be testing out some fan favorite games on my channel in my later upcoming videos so be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notifications i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye